Hi everybody, welcome back to another weekly craft video. My name's Tori and this week we have a craft that's great for kids. We are going to be making these galaxy pinwheels. So you're gonna get everything that you need to make one of your own. And we are making galaxy pinwheels this week because this week, finally, our NASA at my library programs are taking place. So you have two chances to attend this event and learn all about the new James Webb Space Telescope that is about to launch. So you can attend Tuesday night, December 7th at 6 p.m. or Saturday, December 11th at 1 p.m. Please visit whitewaterlibrary.org and register for one of these dates. Also, uh, we are going to be having in-person craft time for the Galaxy Pinwheels, so you can come to the library and do this craft with me and some other kids here at the library on Monday, December 6th at 4.30. If you can't make it to in-person craft time, you can always stop by the library between December 6th and December 11th, pick up your kit, and follow along with the video at home. Let's get started. In your craft kit this week, you are going to get three pages with some information and some instructions. You're also going to get um, your printed cutout of your Galaxy pinwheel. You're gonna get a pipe cleaner and a jumbo straw. At home, you're going to need some scissors and a hole puncher. If you don't have a hole puncher at home, that's completely fine. Just grab something pointy like a pen and you can use that instead. First, cut out your Galaxy pinwheel. You can cut around the edges of the hexagon shape and then also cut straight lines on each of these white lines here. So if you have a hole puncher, you can go ahead and punch a hole on each of the white dots, including the one in the center. But if you don't have one, I'm gonna show you how you can do it using a pen. You wanna be very careful when you do this so that you don't rip your paper. I'm just sticking two of my fingers behind the dot that I want to punch and I'm just going to very carefully and slowly stick the pen through so that it makes a little hole but doesn't rip the paper. Now flip your shape over and thread your pipe cleaner through the center hole so that's sticking out like that. Now, carefully, one at a time, bring each of the flaps in and thread the pipe cleaner through the hole. And just work your way around. All right, so once you have your pipe cleaner through, it should look something like this. So this is gonna be the front of your pinwheel. So I'm just gonna continue to gently push the pipe cleaner through. And we wanna make a little knot in our pipe cleaner right here on the front of the pinwheel. So I'm just gonna kind of twist the pipe cleaner up into a knot shape so that it holds the pipe cleaner in place. You probably don't really need to tie a knot. You can probably just bend it so it looks something like that. Now take the longer end, the back of the pinwheel, and you can go ahead and put it down through the center of the straw. In the instructions, it says to use chopsticks or a craft stick but I liked these jumbo straws, so I'm just gonna use that. I kind of crooked the end of my pipe cleaner there to hold it in place. All right, and now let's test out our pinwheel. All right, so grab your pinwheel like this. You want to blow into this part of the pinwheel so the air from your lungs pushes the wings of the pinwheel forward and it moves around like this. If your pinwheel is not turning, make sure that it's not too tight and kind of open up the wings of the pinwheel so that the air from your lungs can blow in and it can turn. 
Thanks for watching. We hope to see you at the NASA events this week. Bye. Find us at 431 West Center Street, Whitewater, Wisconsin 53190. Our current hours are Mondays through Thursdays from 9 a.m. to 8.30 p.m., Fridays from 9 a.m. through 5.30 p.m., Saturdays from 9 a.m. through 3 p.m., and Sundays we are closed. To keep up to date, add us on social media. And for more information, please visit our website at www.whitewaterlibrary.org or our Facebook page at www.facebook.com-ilypl.